What is up everyone and welcome to Monday Night Raw 24 hours removed from Money in the Bank pay-per-view and as you can see right there Heath Slater has a shirt that says it all he is Mr. Money in the Bank but he does not have the briefcase out here with him he must have left it in the back but Heath Slater surprisingly won that eight-man Money in the Bank ladder match which consists of a lot of great talent Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan Kurt Hawkins, Zack Ryder and Shinsuke Nakamura but in the end Heath Slater was the one that was victorious let's find out what Heath Slater has to talk about Oh wow, what a statement from Heath Slater. What is he looking at? When Triple H is, a, is walking in backstage. Oh, and there's Rhino. What is Tri I wonder what Triple H is talking to Rhino about. Is Rhino... Oh, and Rhino agrees. What is going on? So ladies and gentlemen, Heath Slater just looked on a Titan Tron and seen that Triple H and Rhino were talking backstage. And now he's being interrupted by Rhino. And there he is. So what does Rhino want with Heath Slater, his tag team partner? I mean, Heath Slater and Rhino, they really haven't had a good run as a tag team, but I'm pretty sure once they work together more and everything like that, then they'll be able to win those tag team championships. But what does Heath Slater want, I mean, what does Rhino want with Heath Slater? Oh my god, Rhino attacking Heath Slater and saying that Heath Slater and Rhino are done. So guys, we are having an impromptu ladder match. And Heath Slater's Money in the Bank briefcase is on the line. Rhino just completely destroying Heath Slater. And I have a feeling that Rhino is done with Heath Slater. At first, I thought Heath Slater and Rhino were cool, but Rhino, because Rhino told him congratulations, and then he attacked him. So I think Rhino is done with Slater. Look at that, Slater now. And then Rhino kicked him in the nuts, like. Oh, and Rhino! Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no, Rhino. Looking for the gore. To put Slater away. There it is, the gore! I think that pile driver did some damage to Heath Slater. Now Rhino grabbing the ladder. And Rhino now setting up the ladder. And down goes Slater again. Rhino now climbing. So is Rhino gonna win the Money in the Bank briefcase shortly after his, I'm guessing, former partner? 
won it at Money in the Bank yesterday, but here comes Slater now. Oh, Slater with the rake to the eyes. Down goes Rhino. And now Slater. Looking to take back, looking to win his briefcase again. But here comes Rhino. And the headbutt. And down goes Slater again. So I'm guessing this is what Triple H and Rhino were talking about in the back. Is for Rhino to come out here and take Heath Slater's spotlight. elbows to the side of the face down goes Slater and Rhino again with the pile driver oh I think Slater's busted open though I think Heath is busted open and a spine buster for good measure Wasting any time with Slater. Now Rhino climbing up again. And now Slater rolling over, but Rhino is now the new money in the bank hoarder. I cannot believe these actions from Rhino. Why is Triple H making Rhino be done with Heath Slater? And there you see Rhino undoing the briefcase and winning it. So now, like I said, Rhino is now the new Mr. Money in the Bank. Short run for Slater. Let's get to some more action here on Monday Night Raw. Alright guys, so here is our main event of the evening. It is the former Universal Champion, Chris Garcia, has said that he wants to face Brock Lesnar tonight. But you guys know what that means. If Chris wants to fight Brock Lesnar, then that means Chris wants his Universal Championship back. So Chris Garcia get that championship back. Or Brock Lesnar still be Universal Champion. So let's go ahead and get Brock Lesnar out here. Alright, so Chris Garcia now waiting for Brock Lesnar. And here he comes. His music just hit. There he is. So Brock Lesnar looking to keep that Universal Championship around his waist. So will Brock Lesnar be able to stop Garcia's momentum from getting that championship back? We'll find out. And guys, our upcoming pay-per-view is going to be Survivor Series. I went ahead and changed everything around. So there's going to be a special pay-per-view replacing Survivor Series. It's going to be called WWE Shockwave. So Survivor Series is our next pay-per-view coming up. So whenever we do SmackDown, we're going to start getting set up for the Survivor Series teams. So let's go ahead and get this match underway with Brock Lesnar and Chris Garcia for the Universal Championship. All right, main event time. 
Chris Garcia invoking his rematch clause against Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. And Brock Lesnar, German suplex, number one. Oh! Chris got all that. Oh, and Chris, pop up German suplex to Lesnar. And Lesnar gets right back up. Oh, big combination strikes. Oh, and out goes Garcia. This is a false count anywhere match. guys can hear the fans saying suplex city trying to get behind Brock Lesnar and Garcia now taking Lesnar down and big clothesline from Lesnar oh my god and now Brock just throws Garcia into the ring post. And now Garcia returning the favor. Oh, snap. Lesnar now with the reversal, getting out of it. And now Garcia with the signature. And now Brock trying to bust Garcia open to his advantage. And now Brock again with repeated punches to Garcia's face. Oh, and Garcia got out of Suplex City. And now Garcia returning the favor to Lesnar. And now Garcia just going crazy. Oh, and a knee strike. Oh, Garcia now with his knee. One, two, and Lesnar kicks out. Now what's Garcia looking to do here? Throwing Lesnar back in the ring. A big elbow. And a leg drop. Now great Garcia calling for Lesnar to get up. And a guillotine leg drop. Oh! And Garcia lands on his knee. Now Brock going for the pin. One. Just a one count. After Chris doing that major reversal on, Gar on uh, Brock Lesnar's suplex city, Brock really hasn't been able to come back with anything. But with that fisherman suplex that he just pulled off a little bit ago and then that power bomb, he's gonna be coming back. Garcia is definitely hurt now. And oh no, Brock with the MMA background. Punching, using elbows. Repeated strikes. Over and over again. 
Guys, we still have not. Remember a long time ago when Garcia and Adams got attacked by that masked man. We still we haven't seen him in a while. Oh! And Garcia gets out. And now Garcia faking out Lesnar. And a spear! A spear to take out Lesnar. And now Garcia. No! He's going for a super kick. Oh no. A triple power bomb. And bound. And Lesnar's down. But he gets back up. One. Just a one count again from Garcia. Oh, oh god, no, 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 no. F5 in the middle of the ring. But Chris rolls to the ropes. But I don't think this match being a false count anywhere, it'll save him. One, two. Oh, and Chris kicking out using the resiliency. Garcia throwing Lesnar out. Oh, what a knee strike! Threw Lesnar up, but he didn't connect with anything. Probably just causing more damage. And Garcia with a knee strike of his own. Again. That could be it. That could be it. One. Two. Oh, and Brock. Brock. Brock kicked out. Oh, and that, there's that knee. And a swanton. Garcia with the swanton. One, two. Oh, and Lesnar again kicking out. Look at that. Garcia doesn't know what to do now. CKO! Now the question is, what is Garcia going to do if Brock Lesnar kicks out? Going for the pin. One, two. Did Brock kick out? Or is that Garcia? Oh my, oh no, 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 Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh! Brock Lesnar was faking, Brock Lesnar was faking, Brock going for the pin. One. If Garcia would have connected with that knee strike on that chair, it would have been all over. Oh no! Oh, on the chair! On the chair! Brock Lesnar! Suplex City! And you know what he usually follows up with that? But I'm not gonna say it. Oh no no no. Oh Brock throwing Garcia to the outside. Oh no, Brock looking to finish it. But Garcia hangs on. And a leg drop. I don't think he connected. And a speed. Oh, no, no, no. Lesnar reversed. Lesnar reversed. And again. These vicious strikes. Now Lesnar going for the pin off that move. 
But Garcia kicked out at one. Didn't even kick out at one. He just kicked out before the refs count. Oh no. Backbreaker from Lesnar. Believe it or not, guys, that is doing damage to Garcia. He is not fully healed up. As you get, as just by looking at him, he's. Oh, and a drop kick to the apron. And look at that, Garcia mocking Lesnar. Look at that from Garcia. And now Chris. Oh, Lesnar with the reversal. Big STO. Oh, Brock. Brock. A suplex city to the outside. One more to complete the trifecta. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Chris. Get out of it. Get out of it. And he does. Chris gets out. Look at this. Oh. A German suplex clothesline. Combination purple head damage now for Brock Lesnar. I think Garcia was looking for his knee strike once again. Oh, Lesnar hanging Garcia up to dry, looking for a pin. One. Just a one count. Just a one count. Oh, and now Garcia's busted. Through the bandage. Now back to the outside goes Garcia and Lesnar. And Lesnar now with a steel chair of his own. Trying to get some payback on Garcia. Guys, this is the main event of Monday Night Raw. again throwing Garcia down double axe hand over the back oh and Chris is able to escape suplex city that time he knows what it feels like Garcia now pandering to the crowd I wouldn't necessarily call it pandering though because Garcia is a fan favorite oh and Garcia jumping over the ropes to try and catch Lesnar but it didn't seem to work out oh another standing Kimura Brock trying to make Garcia tap. And look at that. Ripcord knee strike. That's got to be it. One. Two. Oh my god. Brock. I don't know. I don't know. Is Brock kicking out? Or is Garcia stopping the, stopping the count? I don't, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know. I can't tell.
What is Garcia doing though? What is... Oh, off the face. Oh no, not again. Not again. The German suplex trifecta that Brock Lesnar calls Suplex City. Guys, I have lost count of how many suplexes Brock has done in this match. Garcia. Oh, Lesnar with the reversal. And Brock now looking to still be Universal Champion. Too late. Was the reversal? Garcia up. Garcia down. Brock going for the pin. One. Two. Three, and Brock Lesnar is still WWE Universal Champion. Now here we see the highlights of the match. It was a good one. But Chris wasn't able to hold on any longer in his false count anywhere. One. Two. I thought he had him right there, but Brock kicked out. But Brock Lesnar is still Universal Champion. So Brock Lesnar was just in a grueling match. Wait a minute. With Chris Garcia, but oh my god, Rhino! The new Money in the Bank holder. Rhino just... Earlier tonight, Rhino attacked Heath Slater and took the Money in the Bank briefcase, and now Rhino is going after Lesnar. Oh my god. And now Brock. Brock now fighting back. And now Rhino. Is able to stop the momentum for a little bit. And now Rhino's feeling it. Oh no, we're going to have a new Universal Champion just like that. Gore! The Gore out of nowhere! And Rhino just like that hits the Gore. Lesnar's down. One, two, three, and Rhino is the new WWE Universal Champion. Oh my God. Could you guys just imagine if that was Heath Slater instead? Heath Slater walking around as the man. And look at that. Rhino so happy to be WWE Universal Champion. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, Chris Garcia lost his opportunity to get his championship back. And now Brock Lesnar will get to invoke his rematch clause against Rhino. Well guys, that is the end of of this episode of Universe Mode. Stay tuned, SmackDown Live is next. We're gonna start making our teams for Survivor Series.